So if you guys actually see the goat, okay, let me know in the comments, um, so then I know where the goat is. <laughs> because I've flat out lost him. How's it going everybody? My name is Finpire, we're back, we're playing Tiny Town. Now, I was reading through the comments of the previous video, and I got a really good idea from one of you guys. Someone said, create a building with zombies climbing up the building and then people on top of it throwing things down to try and stop the zombies from coming up. The game throw anything, alright? I thought we would do that in this video. The only problem is, I don't have any zombies in this game and I'm not gonna handcraft a whole bunch of zombies just to have them like climbing up this building. It would take a long time. It would take ages, okay? So I thought what I'd do is I'd use like maybe I think we've got like some like really scruffy looking people. We'll use those. So like I think they're like the kind of the homeless looking hobos. Where are they? Uh, here we go. We've got some hobos here. So we could get these hobos and because they kind of look like their clothes are all raggy and stuff and maybe we could stick some like green blobs and things on them as well and that'll kind of make them look a little bit zombie-ish. All right, that's what we could do. Hopefully it will work. We'll give it a crack. Also, I've lost the goat. I can't find the goat anywhere. Um, I was gonna move him around, but I can't, I can't find him. So if you guys actually see the goat, okay, let me know in the comments, um, so then I know where the goat is. <laughs> because I've flat out lost him. Okay, so we've got our zombie over here. I thought what we'd do is we'll get rid of this building. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, and let's get another building. Ugh, and I just had a massive sneezing fit, so I feel like super hay feverish at the moment. Um, but we need to get, we need to get a building, um... Which would be a good one to stick here. How big is this one? That's not very big at all. This one's kind of big. Not really the sort of building we're looking for, though. Ooh, ooh. What about one like this? Doesn't really have windows. Okay, maybe we'll go for one like this? How's this one look? Yeah, we could, we could possibly do something like this. Although I kind of want it to look a little bit more like a window, you know what I mean? So, hang on, hang on a minute. Alright, let's go for this one. I think this one is probably the biggest and most buildingest looking building that we've got. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, now let's start getting some zombie people. Let's just turn the world- Whoa, whoa, let's turn the world around! Turn it around. Come on, come on. Turn- stop zooming, stop zooming. Turn. Okay, good, 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 good. Now let's get some zombie looking dudes. Uh, we need to get some people. Okay, all right, let's just get our little hobo guys. Oh, they're so tiny Look how tiny they are Wow Everything is so That zombie is huge. I forgot how huge he was when you spend so much time zooming in and out of things and making like things Way big like changing the scale all the time you forget just how tiny the world actually is It's really tiny Okay so let's put a little few of these guys around. All right, and then we'll wow, too many. <laughs> and then we'll uh, kind of not animate them, but we'll make them look a little bit uh, like kind of like they're walking. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm just gonna spread them out. Spread them out. Okay. So I've spread some people out. Now I need to make them look zombieish because at the moment they don't look very zombieish. Uh, this is gonna be the part that take some time. <laughs> so I gotta put like their arms out, okay, so that they look like zombies. Oh man, this is gonna take ages. It'll take ages. There we go, there we go. The zombies. This guy's a zombie, that guy's a zombie. Hey, at least some of them have like green pants. Like, look at that. That guy's leg is already green. I don't have to make it green. Maybe he spilt something gross on his leg, like, like some sort of swamp juice or something, you know what I mean? He's just like, oh man, this swamp juice looks delicious. Oops, all over his legs. There we go. Why do they all have green on their legs? Okay, <laughs> we've got some zombies there. Alrighty, now I need to clone some of them or, or of them. Okay, let's just put his leg back here. This guy's walking. All right, let's clone a few of him. Put him there. Awesome! Got the zombies! Oh, this is so good. What I might even do is put like a fence or something like that. 
make it look a little bit more, uh, you know, like there's some more detail to it. There we go, put the fence just going along here, like this. And then we'll make it look like they've busted through the fence. Okay, so we'll make it look like they've basically smashed this part of the fence down. And they're just walking over it. Yeah, cool, look at that! That looks way better! They've busted out of there. Okay, now I need to make them look a little bit more zombie-ish. Uh, we've got this green here, it's this kind of a gross green. Let's just try it out on this guy and, and see how it actually looks. Oh man, this is gonna take so long. No, it doesn't really look right, does it? Okay, I might just leave these guys like this. <laughs> they kind of look like zombies. Because their clothes are all tatted up. The game doesn't have zombies, alright? Like, there's no zombie character to use. There are actually, on the Unity store, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are these set. Because, like, these, these particular characters and all these blocks and stuff, the reason why you've seen them in so many different games, Unity games, is because, uh, yeah, you could buy them as packs on the Unity store. Um, and there is a pack where there's zombies, I'm, I'm certain of it, and there's also a military one as well, um, but the developers haven't gotten it for, uh, for Tiny Town. So that's a bit of a shame, because it means we can't use it. But, anyway, let's start doing our throw anything scene. Um, so let's get, let's actually get, like, someone... Like, leaning out of a building. Uh, who can be our throw-anything guy? Oh, this could be like the nerdy dude who's like upset that his stuff is being thrown out. And he's like, no! <laughs> he's like, no, don't do it! Don't throw my stuff! Okay, and this guy here is gonna be the guy just throwing things out the window, alright? This dude, he's just hurling all the stuff. There we go. Leaning out the window like this. And what has he got in his hand? It could literally be anything. It could be any object. That's the best part about throw anything. If you haven't seen that game, I've actually played it on my channel. It's another VR game. It was incredibly hard. I struggled with it. Um, and I got quite frustrated. But I, I still had some fun. <laughs> until I got frustrated. But go and check it out. Um, okay, so we've got... Uh, Alright. He could have a radio in this hand, like he's about ready to throw a radio. Um... And... What else would he be throwing? He could be throwing a hot dog in the other hand. There we go. Just throwing that stuff. <laughs> Alright, so now let's do some zombies actually climbing up the building, okay? Let's, let's use zombies in air quotes, because they're, they're clearly just homeless hobos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but we don't have a choice. Okay, let's clone a couple. Um, I need to try and make them look like they're climbing. There we go. It's climbing up. Cool. Let's just... Oh, I didn't want to clone that many. Alright, here's another one climbing up. Um, let's get some of these little orange ones. Little orange hat guys. <laughs> it's not really like a zombie invasion, it's like a hobo invasion, isn't it? Alright, put another one down here. We'll clone him. This one's climbing up that way. Put his leg up in a little climby pose. There we go, nice one. Okay. There we go, he's getting up here. We need to also do some that have been hit. So they're getting like smacked and they're flying off the building. We've also got this guy um, up here who's usually whinging, alright? He's usually having a just a fair complaint about uh, about his stuff being thrown out the window. Alright, so let's let's just put this here for a moment. Because he's normally screaming. Alright, uh, he's not saying hello at all. Because in the game, this guy always complains about things being thrown out of his window. Alright, he's just just always whinging. This guy is usually like, shut up, which is me. Okay, this is me. I'm always telling him to shut up. <laughs> no! Shut up! <laughs> that is so accurate. Alright, nice one. Okay, let's get some more people climbing this building. <laughs> um, oh, we need to do some who have been hit as well. Alright, let's get this guy. Um, this one's like hit right in the face. His arms are out like this. 
and he's just been smacked with something. Um, get another one, maybe like one of these guys. Actually already flying back like this. There we go, he's already flying off. Because he's been hit. Oh, I might even do one that's been splattered on the ground. We'll do like his leg all twisted. <laughs> there we go. He hit the ground hard. Alright, hang on. We need to make it authentic. Alright, I might just do one more guy flying off. There we go. Do another one. Make him like all twisted sort of thing. <laughs> He's fallen off the building. There we go. That is cool. All right, and let's do some more objects getting thrown at them. What other sort of stuff? Okay, so this guy got hit in the face with a skateboard. Just like smack, bang. <laughs> um, this guy got hit with a plunger. He's got a plunger stuck to his head. <laughs> there we go. That is cool. Um, and then. Oh, he's thrown a sandwich, so a sandwich has been thrown down. There we go. Um, a mobile phone has been thrown down as well. What else? A wrench. Just put a wrench on the ground. Just like stuff that was thrown down but never actually hit anything. Uh, a taco. <laughs> he's, you get desperate times, alright. You, you do throw tacos in the game, trust me. It happens. All right, I'm just gonna put some of these around because they, they kind of look like rubbish. There we go. Just to make it look a little bit messy around here. Oh, briefcase, of course. A briefcase has been thrown out. Maybe we'll make it so that this guy was actually smashed with the briefcase in the head. A pair of binoculars. Coffee. Money. <laughs> Lots of money was thrown out. In uh, in the game, throw anything in the second level, you're actually like a banker or something like that. And uh, you do throw loads of money at the window, including like bags of coins, um, gold bars and all that sort of stuff. Oh, this guy got smacked with an axe in the head. There we go. He's got an axe in his face. There's a drill. Okay! Alright, let's actually have a look at it from this view. So let's, can we zoom in? Right in. Okay, so let's stand here. There we go. Look at that. Look at this view. That's a throw anything view if I've ever seen one. That is so cool. All right. Thank you very much for whoever gave me this suggestion. It was a really cool idea. I actually enjoyed doing this one. Um, it was fun to sort of get away from building like big things. I guess it takes a lot of thought and uh, and stuff to actually build like a massive thing. It's nice to try something different is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I mean to say. But if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. And I'll see you guys next time.